so y'all I want to touch on a topic real real quick get y'all hip on some game A lot of y'all out there, y'all got y'all got big hearts and shit like that. Or um, yeah, you just got big hearts, man. You care. Or I'm gonna say this: you're genuine. I think everybody got a big heart if they want to use the motherfucker, right? So we're just gonna say you genuine people. You know, you have genuine intentions, and uh, everybody's not like that. You gotta understand that. So you know, a lot of y'all, you're gonna say, oh, they're gonna miss you regret you and you never find another woman or man as good as me and all these things man but you gotta understand that people don't give a fuck you know what I mean especially if they really didn't like you like that or they weren't really feeling you like that they're not gonna give a damn if you leave or leave them alone or whatever right and you gotta be okay with that see some of y'all you like somebody a lot and you think you should leave them alone or you decide to leave them alone and you think that they're gonna regret some shit or you know something in your head you feel like they're gonna regret or they're gonna get hurt or you know karma or and some of this shit may be true but you can't hang your hat on it you can't uh expect this shit to happen you can't be waiting around for it to happen or hoping it to happen or hoping they'll miss you in these things all those other things because the, the truth is man even people in relationships and shit like that you know for the most part people are for themselves they only fuck with you for them so that's just something that uh, a lot of people don't understand but you better understand uh, that's just the way of the world you know that's just the way of the world man but yeah, I don't be trying to scare people off or make people think certain ways about certain people, but yeah, that's just the way it is, man. So um, a lot of y'all, y'all um, thinking they're gonna regret you and or something gonna happen or you know what I mean, just shit like that, man. Stop doing that. Nine times out of ten, you know. As long as they're content with whoever they're fucking with. So say somebody you liked stopped talking to you or really didn't like you or whatever the case. You're going to think, oh, they're going to regret it or they probably going to miss me or something like that. You got to understand. If mo Most people are for their self more than other people. Everybody's for their self. But you have some people who are actually for other people too. Then you have people who are for nobody but themselves. People who are for themselves. When you are not talking to them no longer, they're going to talk to other people. They're not sitting around talking, thinking about you. They're going to go talk to other people. Why you thinking that they missing you and this and this and this? They ain't missing shit. They already talking to other people. And as long as those other people keep them content for their, what they want out of a man or woman, they're not going to miss you because they're all about them, if that makes sense. In other words, say like a woman or a man is all about themselves and, and you just broke up with them. But you really care, right? So you're going to think, a lot of times you're going to think they're actually going to miss you or care or some shit like this. But really, since they're all about their self, it's not about the person. It's not about, like, you. You actually cared about them, the person. Them, you're just another person. They just care about what they can get out of a person. So, therefore, it doesn't have to be you. So, if they leave and talk to another person, it, you think it in your mind, because how you think that hey, there, there's nobody that's going to replace you. You're the special person. They're going to care so much. That's not how they operate because they're all about themselves. So since they're all about themselves, they don't care who they use. As long as they like like you or, or, or you know, some of them might not even like you as long as they like what you would offer. You see what I'm saying? So that's why they won't hit you up or they move on so quick and all these other things. And they'll do the same thing with the other people too. They'll do the same thing. Narcissistic, like, it's all about them. It's not about you or anybody else. It's about them. So 
that's why, like I say, you, you stop talking to them. Don't even think in your mind that, uh, oh, yeah, they missing me and they're going to come back. And they gonna, and that's that's why you get caught up in that when they come back bullshit. You think they're coming back because they miss you. Nah, they're coming back to you because they options of other people to fuck, get, uh, fuck with. Well, for whatever, you know, for whatever reason, whatever they went off and fucked with other people for, whatever, right? They come back to you because those options are no longer there now. Like, them options dried up. Some of them people that they was trying to use like they was using you, they got exposed. They they seen it. You might have not have seen it because you cared about the person, so it's harder to see. Or you just don't want to accept it. So, But newer people can see the bullshit easier because they're not attached to those people like you was, right? So those people come back to you, and a lot of times you're thinking, y'all are thinking that they're coming back because they missed you or some bullshit like that. If it was a genuine person, like a genuine person, that actually cares yes maybe sure for sure but a person who is really all about themselves like i mean all about themselves and nobody else nah because they they move from person to person whoever they can get whatever they can get you know what i mean they get whatever they can get basically if that makes sense so it's not about when when you're dealing with a person, everybody's about them. Everybody is about themselves, of course. So I don't want that to get twisted. But not everybody's only about themselves, if that makes sense. So when you're dealing with people who are only about themselves, they do not give a fuck if they lose you or not. You got to understand that. Some people don't give a fuck about if they lose you because they simply don't like you like that. So they might not be only about themselves, but when it comes to certain people. They are because they don't like you like that. Whatever the case, man. But yeah, man. That's why a lot of people, they. that's why a lot of people talk to a lot of different people. You know what I'm saying? They're not talking to one different one person because of that. Because they are all about them, not a person. You see, you might be all about a person and trying to be with somebody. So by default, a lot of y'all thinking that everybody's like that. And that's not the case, man. So, if you're dealing with somebody, talking to somebody, or trying to see somebody, and it seemed like that, then you probably maybe want to not talk to them no more. Maybe, you know, I don't want to tell you what to do, but more than likely, more than likely. But what I really was trying to point out is when when you end up falling out with a person who's all about themselves, or or you take a break or whatever. Understand, man. They don't, they're not thinking about you like you thinking about them or like you think they're thinking about you. It's just not happening because they don't move like you. You're a person that, yeah, you're all about, you're about yourself like everybody, but you're about somebody else too. Them, other people, certain people who are only about themselves, that's the key word, only about themselves. They are not thinking about you when y'all not talking or they left or, or you left them alone. Cause a lot of y'all, that's what you're doing. I'm gonna say it again. You gonna leave, you leave a motherfucker alone. You never gonna find a woman like me. You gonna regret it. They not gonna regret shit, man. So stop thinking in your mind they gonna regret it. Cause that's holding on to feelings and shit. That's what you're doing. You holding on to feelings. You gonna regret me. I'm a good man, man. That that woman do not give a flying fuck if she only about herself for one. And for two, if she really didn't like me like that, she definitely not giving a fuck. Why? Because. She break, she leave me or whatever. I leave her. Stop talking to her. Like I'm gonna stop talking to you. Fuck it, man. You 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 don't wanna you don't wanna reciprocate back. I'm gonna stop talking. You You're gonna regret. it. I'm a great man. Yeah, this may be all true. She might even regret it in the end. But at that point, if she's a person that's about her and not just well only about her, not just about her, but only about her, she's already talking to other people to find people to keep her content. See, that's how she's moving. So she's good. She's not thinking about you. Because if it's all about me, all I need to do, it's easy to replace people when you're all about you because it's not about the person. See, when you actually care about a person and not just only about you, you actually care about that person. So you're going to be thinking about that person like, damn, I don't know if I really want to, you know what I mean? It's different. Versus a motherfucker who's all about them. Nah, it don't matter. Whoever can fill the slot next, you up, you up next. You up next, the next one, it's easy for them to replace motherfuckers. 
it's easy for them to replace people because they are all about them. So therefore, anybody that fits that agenda is cool. But um, if you are a person, a woman or man that's really trying to fuck with somebody, then anybody can't just fill that that uh, spot because you actually care about the person. You know, you actually care about a person when you're dealing with them, should I say, versus I don't care about who the person is. I just care about what they're going to do for me. So don't be falling in that trap, y'all. You you cut him off, you know what I mean, or her. You cut her, him or her off, and you you go, oh, I'm a great man. He going to regret it. These other women don't love him like this and blah, blah, blah. He does not fucking care, man. I promise you that, man. He does not care, man. If he cared, he never would have left, man. If he cared, he would have been trying to get with you. You know what I mean? Shit like that. If she cared, she would have never stopped. She would have never uh, ignored your text or something like that. It just not, it's just not true, man. No way. No way a woman that has some type of interest or man is going to ignore you. Maybe, maybe, it depends on the situation, of course. I get it. But let's just say you already went out on a date or you already had sex. Yeah. Nah, there's no excuse for this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no excuse. So, yeah, just understand people are going to move on, man. They move on to the next person. They use women and men. This is how they do. It's, they don't care about that, that special person shit. They care about what can you do for me. Fuck this special person shit. You know what I mean? And that's how they move, man. So that's just what it is. And uh, be careful because when they come back to you, remember... Oh shit, my eyes are dry. Who can I go back to? Oh yeah, let me go to Kendra or Rhonda. I know she probably going. She got she got a soft spot for me. She care about me. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to her and act like I care about her. Cause why? Cause now I ain't got no other women right now. So let me go back to them for a while. And and Kendra, Kendra or Rhonda more than likely gonna think if they not smart. Oh, they he coming back to me because I'm the best woman. Which you might be, but that don't mean they. When you're dealing with a person who only care about themselves, they don't give a fuck about who's the best woman. It's about what, why, why am I coming back? Oh, I'm coming back because I need benefits, I need sex or whatever. See what I'm saying? So yeah, you might be the best woman that he can get, but that don't get it twisted. That still don't mean that motherfucker actually cares. If he cared, he never would have left in the first first place, man. It's just fucking facts. If she cared, she never would have been the way she was and all these other things. It's just what it is. I've seen it with exes so many times. Let them come back and they take the mask off as soon as you let them come back. Every fucking time. They'll play it off for a while and then once they see that you you willing to forgive them and all that, they'll take that mask right back off. Because all you are now is, yeah, you the ex person, but you're just like the new people that they went off and and thought that they can get a replacement for you for it. You see what I mean? They're like, oh, I'm tired of this motherfucker. Let me find something else. So they go off and try to find something else, right? And then it don't work out. Oh, let me come back to him. Now you the rebound. See, the other people was a rebound after you. Now you the rebound. That's all they doing. But in your mind, you thinking they coming back because you're the best, which may be true. That don't mean that they're going to um, actually be you the right person that they should be for you. They still that same fucking snake or leopard that keeps playing you and I wish you would die or I cheated on you. The same motherfucker. And pet cemetery shit. Every time they come back, it's worse. They got more body spirits in them and everything else from sleeping with other men and women. You not getting that same version, dog. That little girl that got, that little boy that got hit by that damn semi and sat pet cemetery, that wasn't that same uh, motherfucker. And that's how them exes are. Every time they come back, or even people you just talking to, every, every time they come back around, man, ain't no telling what the fuck they've been into. You know what I'm saying? So just un don't be one of these people. Don't be just another person for them. Too many people out here don't care about the love aspect of dealing with women and men. They, they just care about themselves and what they can get out of it. You got to understand this, man. And there's a lot of people out here doing this shit. So no matter how much you like them, you don't give them a pass for this. If they start acting like, you know, you just somebody they're going to use or something, well, then I guess I got to leave you the fuck alone. No matter how much I like you, man. You know what I mean? That's just the way it is because I cause I like myself. So, And that's how y'all got to think, man. It is what it is, man. So I'm out this motherfucker, man. Yeah, man. A lot of people, they all about themselves and not you or not y'all. You know what I mean? They're not about a relationship, a, a, a two-person two thing. It's all about them, really. 
they just use women and men to get what they want. So basically they getting benefits of relationships and marriage and shit, but they really not, they not committing to that. You see, they want the benefits of the wife or the husband, you know, all them benefits, money and sex and all them things, comfort, attention. They want that, but they don't want the commitment, you know? So, the, and they want to, and some of them don't want the commitment because they want it from different people. They want it from different people. Oh, more. Oh, more sex. More, more this, more that. More than one person. It's just selfish shit. And if you're not careful, you're going to be one of those people that they're going to uh, place in a little rotation. You know, you don't you don't want that. A lot of people got big heads and shit. They think that they, they're going to fall on their head in the end. They're not humble. That's why they think that it's okay to have this, this rotation and shit. They're not humble. They're selfish. Which everybody can be not humble and not selfish, but you know, everybody's different. There's levels to this shit. You know what I'm saying? There's definitely levels to selfish and all that shit. We all selfish, you know, but there's levels. Like, yeah, I'm a selfish person, but I think about other people too. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I think about myself and I care about myself, but I also care about other people too. There's levels. Truth be told though, I think people who be uh, acting foul towards people, I don't think they really care about themselves. Because if you really care about yourself, I don't think that you really would do other people a certain way. You know what I mean? Like, you, you, when you genuinely care about yourself, you care about other people too, by default. So, you know, it just is what it is, man. And, and when you know these things about how people are moving, you're going to be, you're not going to be, you're going to have a lot less women or men that you are going to actually interact with, go on a date with or whatever, because you're going to see through the bullshit. You're going, nah, I'm good. You know what I mean? It is, it's going to be a lonely road, but it's, it, but if you do decide to commit to people or find somebody, you're going to find the right one because you're, you're actually looking at the bullshit and you're not settling for the bullshit. Even if you like the person, you say, I see that bullshit. I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like the woman, but she expects me to, uh, she can't even text me ever first, ever. Nah, I'm good. Because she said I'm the man I'm supposed to uh, pursue, which is true. But you're supposed to pursue something that wants to be caught, not something that's running away. So, nah, I'm good. You know what I mean? Shit like that. Because, you know, you get in a relationship with her, she might, not, she might think it's all about her. Who knows? Or it could be a man, vice versa, right? So yeah, it don't matter how much you like them and shit. It's about what they doing and how they how they moving towards you and with you and shit. And it's just a sad truth, man. Most people are about themselves. So you just another dude or another girl. That's it. You're not this special wife, even though you might be a special wife material or husband material, dude, right? That don't mean that they actually see it that way or give a fuck or whatever. That's just the way it is. A lot of men, uh, men and women have fucked up husbands and wives and shit that they could have been with because they, um, they were selfish. You know, they didn't care. All they cared about was them. So that's just the way life is. That's just the way life is, man. But I'm not going to keep beating a dead horse with y'all, man. I'm going to let y'all go and, um. So I'll catch y'all on the next one, for real, for real. Just be careful out here, man. Don't be a victim to these women and men. And um, don't um, think that there's no good women and men because somebody's getting played. So you can't tell me that all women are bad and all men are bad. Somebody's getting played. If, if all women and men were bad, then that would mean that nobody's getting played or everybody's playing each other. You know, no, no. That, yeah, that would mean that um, there wouldn't be people. How are people getting played if all women and men are bad? In order for you to be played, you would have to probably be the good one. Or you'd be the one playing, motherfuckers, right? Oh, man. All right, y'all. I'm out of here, man. I hope y'all have a good night, man.